If you want to change the color of an image to white, let's say we want to make this car white, we could use the HSL adjustment to achieve that. So let me click on the adjustments icon in the layers panel and select HSL. As the color we want to change is green, let's select the green circle. This will create a range in the HSL adjustment for the green color, which is indicated by the dots in the color wheel. To get the green to white, first we need to get rid of all the color information, which we can do by lowering the saturation all the way down. The green color is now changed to grayscale, and to make it white we need more light, for which we can use the luminosity slider. Let's maximize it, and voila, the car is now white. Pretty cool. Even though this works great for this image, in most cases this will fail. It worked great for this image due to the fact that the car had a very clean green color. Let me switch to another document and apply the same so we can see the difference. So let's add the HSL. The green range is already selected. Now notice when I minimize the saturation and maximize the lightness we don't get this nice white dress but we are left with a grey dress. This is why in most recoloring videos you make a mask first and then apply various alterations to get the color you want. In version 2 of Affinity Photo we now have an HSL mask which will come super handy. To convert the green dress into a white dress I'm going to apply a black and white adjustment and then mask that by using the HSL mask. Let's add the black and white adjustment first. By adjusting the green slider we can increase the brightness of it until we get a nice white dress. This looks about right. As the black and white adjustment applies to the whole document we need to mask it to green. And this is where the HSL mask comes into play. Let me add it and adjust the range so it is only applied to the green color. A tiny bit of blur and it looks perfect. We can open up the black and white adjustment and fine tune the effect. You probably would not want it to be super bright. Because we use an HSL mask to mask the effect, the effect can be very easily applied to other images. When I copy the adjustment layer and switch to the previous image I can paste the effect here. It works out of the box, pretty cool. Because the green of this image is much brighter, we need to adjust the black and white adjustment and dim down the green. Beautiful. Usually I don't do a lot of conversions to white, however I do use this function quite a bit to warm up the colors. Let me show you what I mean. If we go back to the image with the dress and change the blend mode of the black and white adjustment to multiply, have a look at that. Pretty awesome. When I disable it, we can clearly see how cool this effect was. By adjusting the green slider in the black and white adjustment, we can really get a beautiful warm green dress. Let's do the same with the car. Before changing the blend mode of the adjustment, let me decrease the greens a bit. And now, when I change the blend mode to multiply, we get this very nice warm green color for the car. Pretty amazing. Thank you again for watching and until the next video.